Earlier, to host our SSISDB, we created Azure SQL Database. But that's not the only option. You can also create the SSISDB in a managed instance. So, what's the difference between these SQL Server offerings? Broadly speaking, use Azure SQL Database when you design new cloud applications that use the stable SQL Server features. Whereas, use the managed instance when you want to enable easy migration of existing on-premise SQL Server applications with minimal changes as it provides near 100% compatibility with SQL Server Database Engine, all the while preserving past capabilities like automatic patching and automated backups. Also, you get increased security as you deploy it within a virtual network. So, you might ask, why bother about their differences? How it affects running my SSIS packages? With Azure SQL Database, to let Integration Runtime access the database server, you need to allow other Azure services to access the server. Remember, we discussed that it is not a security best practice as subscriptions of other customers will have access to it. But with managed instance, since the database is already deployed in a virtual network, to let integration runtime access the server, you just join the runtime to the virtual network. So there is absolutely no need to allow access to other Azure services if you are using a managed instance and other Azure subscriptions will not be able to access your server. However, in this course, we will stick to Azure SQL Database, but do not worry, you will learn how to use virtual network service endpoints to achieve the same level of network restriction with Azure SQL Database. But that's for the next module, so until then, give access to only the authorized users to your database. And you can also create SSISDB as part of an elastic pool, so you can reduce cost by sharing resources across the databases.